Alright then guys, what's going on? Cloud Plays here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're inside of the day before and this game has got some controversy behind it and is the one game out and around at the minute that nobody knows absolutely anything about but everybody bloody wants. With it being the number two most wishlisted piece on Steam, it's absolutely mental. We're going to dive into it today and tell you our speculations on this and why it is that I'm worried about this coming come early March 2023. Let's dive on in. If you haven't already, make sure you're smashing that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. And hit me down in the comment section. Do you believe that this is going to be a full-blown scam by Fantastic? Or is this going to be something that has just been marketed very poorly and is actually going to do well? Let's get into it. So this game has been absolutely solid and this thing is absolutely crazy because we barely know absolutely anything about it with very minimalistic amounts of information and minimalistic gameplay how it's become the second most wanted game on Steam I will never ever know but let's talk about the publisher real quick because for me this is where it gets a little bit skeptical the publisher themselves behind it we have got the dev teams of fantastic and this lot are what well, they're really really strange but if we just take a look at their previous game development skills, they had a game that they sold to the publisher after only six months of it being moved. We had the next game which was abandoned about another three months later. Both games due to, I think, a massive base decline in player base, which is just ridiculous. They released a mobile game that basically had no gameplay in it past the half an hour point. Then they released Prop Night, which as much as it sounds really cool, it was just Prop Hunt and Dead by Daylight in one reiteration. Yeah, it's literally stupid. There's no imagination inside this company at all, but yet we have the day before. This is essentially a hybrid of The Last of Us of The Division sort of thing, and this is absolutely mental, a massive open world MMO, which just has massive expectations, and it looks absolutely insane. So this is where we come into a bit of a problem because it does look so damn good and we all know that companies do work on trailers they do work on the pre-released gameplays and make them a little bit better than what they meant to be just to kind of like get the hype out there and get them sales early on but this company have done really really well with doing that whilst actually showing barely anything at all so much so that they've actually managed to work with nvidia and i have no idea how they've done it they did a showcase with video on January 3rd which they posted the weirdest video straight after to the main YouTube channel which held about 30 seconds of stuff regarding the game itself but instead a load of irrelevant stuff with regards to the dev team and the company behind it and even a clip of it, one of their members of staff being evicted it, it just made no sense and didn't settle well with me whatsoever but for me this is where it gets really weird because the game doesn't look like it's being played inside of these gameplays in the gameplay reveals and stuff like that it doesn't look like it's being played by an actual human which means quite a bit actually it means that they're able to run scripts inside of the game and when you can run scripts inside of the game there's no manual input which means that they could easily up the quality up the frame rate up the resolution be able to maximize the ray tracing and just run the in-game script which says to me that they're genuinely quite worried about showing actual gameplay by a real human because I don't think it's ready. I think this is going to be an extremely buggy, extremely clunky, and I don't even know if it's going to be releasing come March 2023. We are closing in quite nicely with around two and a half months before this game's meant to be launching, and we have got very little on it. We're getting around 30 to 60 second gameplay clips from Nvidia where they're posting up the RTX on, and if we look at clips from like a year ago, which you guys are looking at some of the cinematics and stuff like that on screen right now, it looks looked absolutely tremendous the graphical imagery was insane but then when we look at stuff that we've got now it doesn't look so good one of the things that was actually pointed out quite easily by force gaming a very good youtuber that i would recommend was the muzzle flash the muzzle flash is something which people would not pay much attention to on a general basis but for me it's again quite a high factor we did a video yesterday where we did a video on the hogwarts legacy incendio spell where we were quite actually well impressed with the animation behind the fire itself when we look at the muzzle flash inside of this game especially considering nvidia have posted this up with the rtx on it it is a little bit shocking we've got a static png image of a flash there's no animation in it there's no continuous movement when the gun fires it flashes and then it goes back and it's just one frame and that's it 
this seems like the bug quality and the overall quality of the game is just kind of being really on edge. So for me as an overall, it just really confuses me as to how this is even a remote thing whatsoever. And it genuinely does scare me. This is not a AAA title. This is not going to be pushed out at the big bucks of 60, 70, 80 quid. We're not going to be able to pay that much, or at least I'd love to hope the fact that they're not going to start paying for that much. But this is a highly anticipated game. And I'd say to the stretch of it's anticipated to be one of the best games of the year if it pulls itself off. My biggest concern is, is that we're going to get into to it and it's going to be buggy it's going to be laggy it's going to crash it's going to cause issues no one's going to be able to play it and they're just going to abandon it after taking all of the fundings for it this is something which is a massive worry for most of the general public and as far as the gaming community are concerned this is a conversation which you will find all over youtube all over twitter i've found it all over instagram all over reddit especially people are just speculating that this game doesn't even exist now i'm not saying that that's the case because that's a pretty broad aspect and that was something which i was saying this time last year but as I've kind of got a bit closer to it and I'm starting to look over things I think the game does exist I think the game actually is in full-fledged mode and I think it's going to be ready for release come March April time if they delay it maybe April May time for its full movement but do I think it's going to be anywhere near ready no I do not we have had no game time I have had a run around in emails and DMs and messages and nobody's had any game time on it nobody's had any game testing time on it there is no company that have been associated so per se with regards to any game testing and it all seems to be in-house via volunteers and advocates and that is just an absolute recipe for disaster when we start talking about an open world MMO which generally looks like it has more space in it than both of the division games put together it looks like this is going to be absolutely huge and this is going to have so much room for problems and issues and that they are just going to mess this one up this is a title which I am reluctant on paying on release although because of me being a youtuber this is something i know for well i'm gonna have to do but i am absolutely nervous as hell about putting my own money into a game like this because i don't believe that it's going to pull off the ground even for five minutes let alone for any longer i have no faith in the development company behind it whatsoever mainly because they want to string everything into everything if we look at the posts that they put up on twitter they tag everything into a retweet basis please retweet this if you're excited for the game and prop hunt posts but prop up posts that are related to the day before so that they're trying to drag every format from every game platform that they've got and trying to drag it all into one segregated union which is a very clever way of doing it but at the same time very creepy very desperate and a very weird way to sort of set your marketing preference but then this company don't do anything normally so i'm really not surprised on that format either this game is a very very weird one and this is a massive anomaly inside of the game in spectrum right now where no company has ever marketed or pushed in media the way that these guys have done it and it's definitely causing a massive ruckus if this game does pull off though then it was very very clever because what they've done is they've stuck all eyes onto this game now as being the most confusing and the most out there game that everybody thinks is going to be fake and if fantastic can pull this one off and it actually works this could probably be one of the biggest games of the decade that's just a full-blown fact and i think that i'm really interested and well involved with being there to see what happens with it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and if you guys agree with me or if you think that i'm being just a little bit dramatic thanks again for watching appreciate your faces if you haven't already like subscribe and as always until the next time see you in the clouds mm -hmm.